Okay, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your laser power supply to the new version. As you can see, the power supply will be mounted in the same location, but there will be a few changes. On the power entry, instead of having the 4-pin Phoenix connector, there's a 3-pin connector for your AC power. So you have ground, and then your two AC leads, and the laser tube ground is now attached to the other side using a crimped ring terminal. And it goes on to this little uh, terminal post right here. The power supply is going to require you to drill a few more holes in the laser mounting shelf. So you see there's a hole at the front and back of each flange. And on this side it's supported by a standoff. And these will be included in your kit. So these are tapped M3 holes. Um, if there's a problem, you can always open it up and use a clearance hole with a nut, which will be supplied with your kit in case you need them. Then the high voltage power connector, you can just uh, strap it back down to the shelf using zip ties or the sticky back cable mounts. Plug in the DIN connector in the same place and secure all your wires and everything else should be just about the same. You may have an issue where there's not enough slack on this wire. If that's the case, cut the zip tie inside the chassis down here. Trace the wire where it comes in. You can cut, cut that zip tie, pull the wire out, and then retie everything down when you have enough length. Have any questions, please let us know.